you guys. And this morning on today's relationships, rekindling the romance. New Year's resolutions aren't just about trying to lose weight or kicking a bad habit. They're also a great way to re-energize your sex life. Relationship expert Laura Berman is the host of In the Bedroom with Dr. Laura Berman. Laura, good morning. Good Haven't morning. seen you in a while. Great I to have know. you back. It's nice to be here. You say this is a good time. I mean, obviously, a lot of people make New Year's resolutions. You say we should be practicing this year-round and, and really encouraging us to really take a good look at our relationships. Absolutely. You always have to kind of revisit the natural course of every relationship with our busy lives is to kind of veer off course and it's mm -hmm. really important to continue to kind of re-energize things especially if you want a long-term monogamous relationship what you are the have biggest to do the problems work. that couples are having well I think it's really about late like you know we get lazy we get busy we get kind mm -hmm. of you know that can go on the back burner and there are simple things you can do you know right now right. to jumpstart things to recommit that don't take a lot of work but they do take commitment okay five resolutions starting with with set a weekly date night. Yes, right? and you know, you've heard this before, but I'm not talking about a weekly date night where you go to the movies or out with five other couples. This is a date night where you're actually talking about things other than diapers and the bills. Mm -hmm. You have to find things to discuss, which a lot of couples in long-term relationships think, well, what would we do sitting across the table from each other with nothing to talk about? Right. So talk about where you see yourself in 10 years or your dream vacation you'd still like to take or five things your partner does that makes you feel loved. And a lot of people, unfortunately, they're letting those date nights go by the wayside. Mm -hmm. They say, oh, we're going to do it, we'll get to it, and they don't. You say, make right. it a priority. And in fact, if you take a vacation alone together, the research has shown that if you just go away for a few days, even once or twice a year alone, that does more mm -hmm. for your intimacy and connection than even a weekly date night. And when you go on that vacation, or you should do this more often as well, as you say, share your fantasies with your partner. Yes. What yeah. are we talking about? Well, you know, we get scared about that, so you have to kind of create rules of the road. We're not going to judge each other. Share the ones that you'd like to act out together, maybe even agree to write them down and put them in a little box and once a month you know mm -hmm. pull one out and try it out and it's a way to kind of keep things energized Rekindle and it. you know interesting and start kissing again really quickly kissing. <laughs> this is a big one for yeah. women especially because kissing goes by the wayside in a long-term relationship if you do what I call a non-demand kissing where you could just kiss for a while with no expectation of it going anywhere else you will see a spike in especially in the woman's libido and if mm -hmm. you give each other a 10 second kiss twice a day at least rather than that quick peck yep. when you're walking in and out of the door that does a tremendous amount for your connection and uh, sort of keeps those fires at a women have to be especially at a slow burn you yeah. know they can't go from zero to 60. all right well dr laura berman great advice as thank always you. and more resolutions for couples on our website as thank well you. thank you coming up